Oh, hey! Did somebody call a plumber? Greetings, this is Ron Smalik, and I am here in Aranev 2, the Soul Cauldron. This is a custom adventure map for Minecraft by none other than Jagarbov. This is a sequel to his map, Aranev Mansion Adventure. And uh, let's take a look at those pipes, shall we? Now that was kind of interesting. As I was panning around, I noticed a, uh, I noticed a character up there. I say character because it's got a sponge body and a pumpkin head. That is one of Jagarbov's uh, token NPC, um, how do you say it, uh, representations, avatars. Alright, let's take a look here. Watch the E2 release trailer before starting as it contains story elements. Too bad I can't click on a link on a sign. Wouldn't that be so cool? I wonder if you had a command block here, Jig, if I stepped on it and it would say this link in my chat, could I then click on it? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Air Def 1's not required. Uh, the story is enhanced if you know the lore I vaguely remember. And this is version 107.4. I'm on Minecraft 1.4.4, so you will see a noticeable absence of too many items. I have no mods installed. I'm playing on normal. Uh, if it's too hard, feel free to lower it. Yep. Um... Okay, so, these are the rules. I think I just read the rules. In fact, uh, I have a feeling that there are no rules. I can break anything unless I see bedrock. Uh, if you dig and uncover bedrock, you may cover it over to continue digging. Okay. Um, the only blocks you can place in bedrock are torches or ladders. Okay. Um... So, I actually did play the beta, or a beta version of this. It was quite a while ago. I've purposely forgotten generally what I need to do and the story. And um, he has made a ton of changes since then. So hopefully I will be able to be fully entertained. These are tutorial signs. Since there is no visible bedrock, you may break blocks. Break the floor. If you can't, make sure you are OP. Well, I definitely am OP. Uh, you should be able to see a wooden button and command block here. If not, you have re-downloaded the map. Okay. So... Okay, whoops. I guess I should, uh... Testing, testing. Can you hear me? If you can, command blocks are working for you. Yay! Okay, he really, really wants me to watch that video. Bucket users. I don't, um, have bucket. This is just a single-player world. And, uh, I'm supposed to break the floor. And this is a feeling that I had uh, when I did the beta, is that I don't want to just break the floor anywhere. I want to break it in a place that's going to benefit me the most. And, oh, that is not going to benefit me. Uh, I also want to try and find hidden stuff. So, uh, it doesn't look like there's any hidden stuff under these. Hey, oh, a mushroom. Cool, that will become handy later. Now, I thought that I could pick up those blocks when I broke them, but apparently not. Can I pick up this block? Oh, I can pick up the pot. I don't think that's useful. Am I in creative mode? I hope I'm not in creative mode. No, I'm not. Okay, glowstone will be useful. Ah, oh, this chest will be useful, actually. I'm already trying to scheme the map. Okay, I don't need all these goofy books. So let's put those down the drain. Yes, there will be many drain and plumber references if I can have my way. Uh, now, I don't think I'm going to need an item frame uh, or a flower, but I will need the rest. Yeah, see, oh. Hmm. I don't think I can get snow walls now. I need a shovel for what I want to do. Okay, I guess there's not going to be a way for me to break out of here and get up to that guy. So I'm just going to have to give in to my wants and fears and go for what I'm actually supposed to do. Oh, which is drop onto a tree? <gasps> oh! Uh-oh. Reminds you of somebody you used to know. Oh, there is some bedrock here. So I can't break any blocks while I am near. 
That jig was for you. This room is surrounded by bedrock. You may not break or place any blocks. Thank you for using MC 1.4. When you see buttons, be sure to press them. Okay, a distant memory. Huh. Seems familiar. Oh, I can't break blocks. I better not. I better not. Better not. Okay. Potion crafting will be important. Oh, great. Fire resistance is important. Yep. Start by crafting one now, then go into the tunnel. Oh, good. He gives me uh, instructions. Nether wart, magma cream, gunpowder, and redstone. Alright, so I guess I have to put them in, in that order. And does this map contain lots of bud switches? I don't know, but nothing seemed to happen. Hey, oh, look at this. Oh, good. I didn't know if I could left click. I can. Okay, while that's brewing, um, I guess I'll sleep. They often continue. Okay. Uh oh. I hear Skelly. That's not good, although unless he's burning up, then that's perfectly fine. Alright, Mag Cream. Let's go. How did a skeleton spawn? It's pretty light in here. Can't break blocks. Gonna have to keep reminding myself of that. So, what's new, guys? I've been wanting to play this map uh, for so long. And uh, I waited for 1.4 to come out. Then I waited for 1.4.2 with some upgrades that Jigma made. And uh, then I got busy, and so I've essentially waited for 1.4. But I think I think that's fine. It's matured. I should not be worried about finding bugs. I should just be worried about enjoying myself to my heart's content. And you know what? I don't need this. I might need these if there's water. All of this stuff might be useful to me at some point. Oh, that was really quick. Does glowstone do anything? Oh boy, it does. What's it going to do? Is it going to screw these up? Because I've already put all the good stuff in there. I hope it's not going to screw these up. What is it going to do? Glowstone. Should I just do this? I'm really afraid. Oh, it made it weaker. Holy cow, it's a good thing I took those out. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly what I expected. Now, I also don't want to put all of these on my hotbar because I am really prone to... Um, I am really prone to accidentally throwing things that are on my hotbar. So, let's head into the rest of this memory. This distant memory. By Jack Handy. Fences seem a little, a little different now. Okay, did I hit myself? I did. Alright, time to flush. Who's got the lever? Welcome to Aranev 2, the Soul Cauldron. Created by Jagarbov. For upcoming maps and more, visit his channel. Hope you enjoy E2. Hmm. Wait, what's that noise? Hey, who just... Whoa! Oh, nothing like uh, being flushed down a lava toilet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! I'm like on fire. There's a monster. Once you have obtained the wood, escape down the path. Quick, get the wood. What do you mean, who are you? You forget my name again. Wait, you don't even know me? I'm Jarig. We've been here for quite some time already. Wait, not zombies rising from the lava. Quick, grab my sword and defend yourself while you grab wood. Let's go! Okay, so I don't see... Whoa! Check out that giant eyeball. Ha! Ah! Oh boy, that scared me. They are obviously fireproof. Oh boy, there goes my axe. 
that's gonna make it hard for me to get this wood. You will need wood. Take it. Alright, I'm gonna do it on this side so I can see them coming. Oh, there's obviously some kind of a... Oh, darn it. Oh, come on, get away from me. Damn it. Are these unbreakable zombies, Jig? I will not like you at... Oh, boy. Hey, this is already gonna be a problem here. This is gonna be a problem. Oh, my gosh. Um... Oh wait, he said to take his sword. He said to take his sword. It's not helping. <laughs> it's not really helping. Oh boy. I'm down one heart. That's gonna make it hard for me to... Oh, it's cause I'm attacking with a mushroom. Seriously, die. Die. Oh, did you die? You died. Thank you for obliging me. Okay. What is this guy doing? Is he stuck on... Okay. That is much... <gasps> much easier with the sword. Get back in the lava. I, I need a break for a minute. Okay. Okay. Jarek's sword. Jarek's axe. Zombie's bone. Okay. You guys, just give me a second. I wish I had grabbed some sort of a healing potion. Oh, he burned up, huh? My sword's not in the right slot. Oh, poo poo. Oh, what's this? Oh. How did you know that I died? Should I really have to answer that question? Back into the toilet. God bless it. Well, I think that's the end of that <laughs> LP. Oh, those would have come in handy. Uh, I'm out of, um, I'm out of fire resist potions. So, yep. Thanks, Jig. Good map. I will see you all next time on, uh, Okay, that was really terrible, but I have recovered. I actually started the map over. Uh, this time I did not make the mistake with the glowstone, but I think I did everything else the same. And this time, I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to steal some of these extra potions here. Just two of them. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. Now, I'm not going to make that stupid mistake with my with my falling, although Jig, I would make the lava a little bit deeper right there, um, and I'm going to be much more careful to uh, not miss the sword in the chest. Okay, there we go, there we go, that was much better. This time we grab the sword and the proper axe. Okay, and they're busy in the lava. I'll take in the wood. I do wish there was a way to turn off the flame effect or like actually just make it a little bit lower. Aha. I think I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, I can place blocks. Hey, it's still not high enough? What's up with that? What's up with the not high enough to reach the wood? Just gonna break a couple of these until the zombies come in case I get an apple. Wait, nope, these are pine needles. I know better. And I always take chests. That's what you do in survival CTM maps. Uh, in fact, I also take NPCs because they are made of blocks that can be useful. And I will now invite these zombies. Where am I supposed to go, actually? I'm going to some type of on the lava, grab a sword. Once you're done, follow the path. Okay. Come on. Good. Oh, don't fall back in the lava. Come here, I want, I want your gear. 
I want your pretty red bicycle helmet. Actually, actually it would look really good on me. Oh, almost snuck out. He snuck up on me. This has got too much knockback on this sword. No drops, huh? I want you to go on that lava. Come on. Oh, you little sh... Okay. Darn it. Yep, I want you to stay down there. So that I can take your stuff. Yes! Oh, come back here with my jacket. You don't have a jacket. I don't care about you. Alright, I'm gonna head this way. Oh, there's some guys with jackets. Okay. Oh, there's like... <gasps> Whoa, there's a guy with my boots. Where did he just come from? Are you using a positional spawner, Jiggy? Oh, I love the hat. It matches perfectly. I did not plan that. Oh, you didn't drop your booties. Well, I'm not gonna... Am I still flame-proof? Yes, I am. Okay. Alright, I'm supposed to go down there because I see the guy that I broke. Is that Jerig? I think it's Jerig. There it is. Home sweet home. It's right there. I think jumping down is half the fun. Geronimo, jump down to your home. Let's see how many Jerigs I can collect. Did that just block update the lava? Good, it didn't. Okay. Actually, was there anything up at the top of this? I failed to look. I remember uh, thinking this was an interesting structure. In fact, I think when I played beta, I was on my laptop and I could not really see anything with any render distance, so... Oh, there's just a glowstone. Oh, there's a huge pumpkin with an arrow on it. Is there something inside the pumpkin? Jack-o'-lantern? Oh, there's a bedrock block. Oh, no! Uh, I'm not supposed to be able to break blocks now, so I guess... Oh, here's a pumpkin. Put you up there. I can't! <gasps> there we go. Okay, I see a building. I see some actual melons over there. Oh, there's a chest right there. I think, oh, this is my problem when I start one of these open world maps. There's so many things I want to do all at once, but let me follow his little tutorial signs here. Gosh, I think I'm gonna fall off this fireman's pole. Whee! If only I had a fishing pole. Okay, CTM area. None of these have holes under them, do they? I've been here so long, I've always wanted to see grass on the floor here. Would be so much nicer. Okay. Alright, um... First off, enter your home. Then perhaps those nether stairs behind you. After that would be a good time to start exploring your fortress home. A hidden shop is just there. Oh. Sir Vilemard's Fortress Bazaar. Villager shops. Shop information. You will find shopkeepers. Um, it says if I don't purchase the clues, it'll require a lot of exploring. They basically give me clues. Guides are like cheat books. So use your diamonds to craft epic gear. However, remember, if you get stuck, you might need to use some diamonds to trade with villagers. Okay. Hope that was the book I just threw in. Hello, shopkeeper. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Uh Oh, I heard you, little silverfish. You see a hellish ravine. I can't quite reach. Jarg, a shopkeeper. Not sure how we missed him here before. I'm sure he sells some nice stuff. Let's trade. 
He wants brick for bedrock? Oh, I don't want bedrock. Okay, iron and... I have sticks, not iron. He basically wants stone bricks and cobble for wood. That's good. Oh, dirt. So I could fill that area with dirt. Hey, peekaboo. What are you wearing, blockhead? I'm wearing my pants? Get out of my friend's way. Oh, that's the guy I want. Perfect. Oh, there goes Jared's sword. I better be a little bit more careful with that. Oh. What? Jerk, jerk sword. I broke them both. I'm sure Ani stuff is saying sure, so go ahead and break the axe now while you're at it. I'm hoping these guys will drop some hits. I guess I could just break through there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dungeon map one. Oops, oh, 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 oh. I just had trouble hitting escape on this keyboard. Head out towards the hellish ravine. Make your way to the end. So, where am I? Okay, here's the big pumpkin pointing this way, but there's also something pointing this way. Is kind of weird. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna take some of this stuff. Why not? Um, there was a record in there. Oh, how'd that happen? Oh, there's Jared's other sword. That was weird. Did the sword disappear? Okay, I don't hear any uh, whatever it's called. Are these handy? Are those going to come in handy? I'm not sure. I don't think those are going to come in handy, though. <gasps> what? That means there's a lot of mobs over there. Hang on a second. I do have some torches. out of this, I better. If I gotta get in there. I can see any pants. Come on. There we go. Good. Good boy. And pants. Pants time. Whoa. He was going after the villager. I, <laughs> I forgot that this is not a villager. One last thing. Okay. Oh, now you can go after the villager. Now my sword disappeared again. Look at this, the sword disappeared. Did he pick up my sword? Did he pick up my sword? Is that what just happened? Excuse me, I'm trying to... I'm trying to play a map here. Oh, my sword disappeared again. Get away. Get away, little boy. Villager, you do not want to be over here. You do not want to be over here. Ooh. Coal. Coal is excellent. Coal is excellent. Let's put these here. Um... Oh, there's the spawner. Way over there. Okay. Not quite ready for that spawner yet, I think. 